over here. What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Got my eye on a few nearby hamlets. They're in more danger than they know. Accio! Hold places! Incendio! Expelliarmus! That's mine! Absurd, isn't it? Ranrock wants us to find the... Expelliarmus! Which child? We seek every child we find to Ranrock. Eventually, we might get the right one. Glacius! Defend it! Revelio! Rebellion. If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the I country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach of that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a Keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, Bring me the child. We already knew they were after you. But now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Rebellion. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? Flash of inspiration. No more happy days for you. Listen, I'm for a Why have you not run up? Stupid one. Oh, little magic trick. Let's distract me. Expelliarmus! Leviosa! Accio! Little brat showing off, are we? Oh, I'm going to enjoy this! Stupid Release me! Accio! It's a big old country! I might rather enjoy it! Stop right there! 
Revelio. 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 I suppose that's the quick way down. Akio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Revelio. Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Ranrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? 
Branrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? Revelio. I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be! And, sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Sir, surely I've proven myself. In light of what's happened, perhaps you should tell me everything now. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. I would join you if I could. I will await your arrival in the map chamber. Leviosa. I need to reposition that pillar to climb out of it. Perhaps the archway is the answer. Wingardium Leviosa.
That pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. If I arrange the archway correctly, I should be able to move the pillar and clear the path. I believe I need to proceed to the left here, but how? Let's <laughs> go. 
There's a pillar here, but no ledge near it for me to grab onto. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio.
Wingardium Leviosa. Capulsa. Capulsa. What a relief.
must say I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of... well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon.
Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class.
You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Where are you, Archie? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave, in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Uh, he's Victor Rookwood's second-in-command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not go. Where could Archie have gone? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are. Providing Hello, sir. Officer Singer what do you sell here? Hello, down Harlow. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hypocrites come in the Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. Akio! Incendio!
Revelio. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickel mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickel! He would not have done this to his own hideout. We are looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I Revelio. Mean, right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Revelio. Wolves! Prepare for a fight. Potato! Stupid one! Glaciers! Inside! didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Revelio. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Halo caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. Revelio! My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Incendio. Incendio. 
Rebellion. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. What was that sound? Rebellion. Rebellion. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Father, oh mother, father 
Rick's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. Ravelli. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow... Alohomora. You'll be doing to me. Thank you for your help today. Revelio. I thought Ramrock's loyalty would go this far. There's trouble of thought. Accio! Glacier! Incendio! Experience! Accio! Incendio! You've made a great mistake!
Revelio. Nice to see you, my young friend. Quiet as a mouse round here. Can't you. You know, really good, have you? Accio. Do you want me to put you down? <laughs> Not so tough now, are you? Yeah. Oh. Stop that. Glacier. Expel the armor. Let me out, son. <laughs> Why don't you come and see what's happening? Accio! Glacius! Incendio! The beasts are safer now. Revelio! Revelio. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. <laughs> a 
Shinto. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. a dug bog behaves that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Huh. Revelio! Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelts. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Revelio. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How 
do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crankroft. They know the lies and falsehoods. No one ah. knows what would. Accio. Incendio. Oh, 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 that's what you got. Glaciers. Potato. Stupid luck. You're in for it. Incendio. The lamb returns to the old. Revelio. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Repairo. Revelio. Dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Nah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. <laughs> 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 Window. 
Revelio. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her, shall we? Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have. Rebellion. Alohomora. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The elements of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Revelio, let's make them count. That's it. Like that is the word. Careful! That's all the warning burgundy cat! I'll get the signal, you can have the apple. Answer the end. It's a signal. It's a signal. It's a signal.
was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. I'd like to talk with you when you have a moment. Stirred clockwise. Rebellion.
Incendio. Revelio. So this is the underground harbour. Revelio. And I truly had enough. I simply cannot be with you any longer. Revelio. Rebellion. Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Revelio. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the Wizarding World. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. 
If that's the only way I can convince you to give me that book, then let's get it over with. Splendid! Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? The pepper up potion. I'm afraid the answer was Felix Felicis. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Horcruxes? No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'm sorry, I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelia ought to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Rebellion. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. Beautiful. Goodness. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. 
Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. <laughs> Class is dismissed. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you haven't been taking full advantage of the opportunities presented by your field guide. I'd advise you not to squander such a resource. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I, um, I enjoy talking to Mr. Ollivander. I'm fascinated by a wand law, and I'd never visited the Owlery. Bit of a mess. <laughs> I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meat mentioning something about gobbledygook.
What is it? What's wrong? Goblins! That's what. Ranrock's lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. I don't have any of that. Perhaps you could try in Hogsmeade or one of the hamlets. And get extorted by the Ashwinders? No, thank you. <sighs> if you won't help me, I shall have to take my chances, won't I? How am I to avoid Ranrock's lot? Incendio. 
Incendio. Forget about that common help you stole. <laughs> Expelliarmus. Akio. Place it. Luck. Nothing more than luck. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Akio. Damn you. Place it. Stupid time. Oh, 
Revelio. You're the one who stole the Griff. You're about to regret that. Glacius! Incendio! Incendio! Explosive! Expelliant! Think you're funny! You're going to regret that! Expelliant! This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Do cooperate, won't you?
know you don't. Arrest the momentum. Assignment's all finished. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. I take it you're ready to learn... I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Is this something we should be learning in school? Better for you to learn it in school, where we can instruct you properly as to its use, hmm? Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Incendio. Bobada. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Off on another adventure, are we? Hello there. 